Hello there. Welcome to the video on how to change an ordered pair that's in rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. Now recall when we want to switch it to po polar coordinates we're looking at the ordered pair r comma theta where r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared and the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. Now we have to be careful about theta because theta has to be have its terminal side to be the same as the quadrant that the ordered pair x comma y is in. So we'll first get our reference angle um, in working with that and then take that reference angle into the appropriate quadrant to find our actual theta. So let's get started. Here we have our ordered pair x comma y is negative 10 comma negative 20. So r we will find by taking the square root of negative 10 squared plus negative 20 squared. So that gives us the square root of 100 plus 400. So we get r is equal to the square root of 500 and that gives us the r is equal to well, square root of 500 is the square root of 5 times 100, so that simplifies to 10 times the square root of 5. Now, how about theta? Well, I have that the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. So, I have my negative 20 over negative 10, and that gives me that the tangent of theta is equal to 2. Now, when I take the inverse tan of 2, I'm actually going to get my reference angle. So I'm going to write that as theta prime. And that's inverse tan of 2. And if we want to um, get this in degrees, make sure your mode of your, tri of your calculator is in degrees. And when you do the inverse tan of 2 and you have your calculator in degree mode, it will show you that that reference angle is about 63 degrees. However, the ordered pair negative 10, negative 20 is in quadrant 3. So when I look at having my axis set up and I think of taking that 63 degree reference angle into the third quadrant. Remember we take reference angles off the nearest x-axis. So when I take my reference angle of 63 degrees into the third quadrant, I want to state my theta as a trig angle in standard position, so we need to come off the positive x-axis and we are going to go counterclockwise to meet that. So we see here that that would be 180 degrees plus the 63 degrees. And that's approximately equal to, so theta is approximately equal to 243 degrees. Um, certainly there's, as we saw in the tutorial, a lot of different ways to um, state the polar coordinates for a point, but here we're choosing to have the angle in degrees, have the r be positive, and then also have our theta to be positive. So our polar coordinates of this point with those conditions gives me my r is 10 times the square root of 5 and then theta 243 degrees and that's your polar coordinates of the point that had rectangular coordinates of negative 10 comma negative 20.